I want to welcome you to the kingdom. Why? It is the part of these. You know, it's almost as though if we got to heaven, a mnemonic for it is almost thinking there's a party. But a party that comes forth within every person you've ever known, all of your family, and every person within the biblical text. Every prophet's there, everyone written in the book of life. And each and every one of them looks towards you. They end up seeing your future, your past, and where you are in this life and then into eternity. So that within an eternal essence, when we walk into the garden here now, this is what Jesus speaks of when he says that the kingdom of heaven is within you and all around you. That we are already within that existence and the understanding of coming in within peace is to be able to be at that perfect peace within the soul. Now Christ ends up giving you a reflection so that he'll connect with you. People that you love, people that you were closest to. But he'll also show you a glimpse of him. He'll connect you with the spirit of David, the spirit of Jeremiah, of Isaiah, the spirit of Yeshua. But actually what we end up seeing is that within that, it is a spiritual reflection that comes all the way back to the patriarchs. Now the teaching that we end up seeing within Judaism is that Israel, for instance, live forever, that there is an eternity that cometh forth from our patriarchs, that the Zadi, the righteous man, actually goes forth forever. And because of that, it is that you are sowing forth because of the word of God, because of your actions. And this is the whole idea of the world of Asiya. It is to take that action that builds forth because of an emanation that connects us with God, so that because of the understanding that we have and that connection, a personal relationship with our Creator, in the same way that it's called forth within modern Christianity, is also called for when we look towards the patriarchs. Abraham was a friend of God. Moses, Moshe, and Chayish Elohim. Moses, the man of God. That connection is actually going to give you everything. And what we're going to understand is that it changes the perception that we have, the actions that are taken, and gives us all of the divine qualities so we can therefore then receive that eternal crown and the blessing. Just speaking of it, I can hear the saints behind me preaching the gospel of Christ. It's as though it was spoken into existence. As I start to call forth the patriarchs to hear the fidelity and the faithfulness of other Christians there with me. That ability, that blessing, and that praise cometh forth from the Creator. And because of that, we build this. God, Jesus, is the fortune that builds forth from El Shaddai, God Almighty. And we build that power, that strength to build forth and to come into the name of Jesus. It is his salvation that we end up receiving and also the very blessing that gives us the instruction of Christ, that kavol de la king, the glory of God. Thus, hallelujah. We praise the glory of the Lord and we build forth this eternity. Join us on the here in Washington and all around the world to praise the Lord. God bless.